bet you just typed in how to get rid of mushrooms in lawn or, or how do I, uh, why do I have mushrooms in my yard? <laughs> okay, well, my name's Kathy Wilder and I was previously in the lawn care industry for 25 years. And I can't tell you how many times I heard that question. <laughs> and usually, you know, uh, if you've got mushrooms in your yard, I say good for you. Because mushrooms uh, are actually the fruit of a fungus beneath your lawn, uh, down in the soil. And they only show up when weather conditions are exactly perfect. So uh, the indication... Uh, the, the indication that the mushrooms give is that you have some very, very beneficial fungus at work for you under your lawn. So um, a lot of people think they're unsightly and they want to get rid of them. Uh, personally, I like them. I think they're pretty. <laughs> uh, but uh, the best way is to just pick them and throw them away, especially if you have young children or dogs that you're afraid will eat them. Um, but actually, like I said, the the fungus under the soil is what's causing them. The mushrooms aren't the problem, it's what's underneath there. And um, this is actually a very beneficial fungus that, that breaks down rotting organic matter, which makes nutrients available to your lawn. So um, let's, uh, you know, on one hand, I can understand if you think they don't look nice and you wanna get rid of them. On the other hand, you know, what we do to our landscape is sometimes very much against nature. You know, nature works in a certain way. I mean, look at the trees in the forest. They have the benefit of all this dead, rotting, organic matter. Uh, leaves, animals, animal droppings, uh, you know, rotting wood. And this, this goes back into the soil and becomes nutrients. You know, that's what compost is all about. <laughs> but we clean up all the sticks and the leaves and we, you know, we, we uh, deprive our landscape of that kind of stuff. So um, wanting to get rid of them isn't really a very good thing. It's a, a very natural process and uh, it's, it's, it's good for your soil. It's good for your lawn. But uh, if you are intent... <laughs> What you can do is uh, sometimes you could apply some straight nitrogen, about one pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet, and that will speed up the rotting process of whatever is underneath the soil causing this in the first place. Okay, but that has its drawbacks. Um, number one, you want to be sure you have uh, readily available nitrogen, um, not something that's uh, time release or water insoluble or something like that um, but just straight like ammonium sulfate um, when you see a bag of fertilizer it's got three numbers on it the first one is nitrogen um, the second one is phosphate and the third one is potash so if you have something that's 30 OO it means it's 30 percent nitrogen and there's no phosphate or potash in it okay ideally um, to get, <laughs> okay, if you had like 33.300, then three pounds of that would contain one pound of nitrogen. But the drawback is this is in your lawn and you're going to apply that to an area where there's mushrooms, um, then part of your lawn is going to be greener and grow faster. Okay, and also uh, applying excessive amounts of nitrogen is not good for your lawn. Uh, in fact, it, sometimes when there are in, insect infestations, which, which happen now and then, uh, like army worms or chinch bugs or something, they're going to head for the luscious, greenest, fastest growing stuff they can get. And uh, uh, excessive nitrogen, especially put down late in the year, has been linked to stuff like spring dead spot. And if you think mushrooms are <laughs> ugly. <laughs> spring dead spots are awful. It'll make big brown spots that just don't green up in the spring. So um, consider that. So um, anyway, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything drastic like that. I would just pick them, put them in the trash, and be done with it. Um, and know that when you see those, uh, there's this lovely fungus underneath the soil doing great things for your yard. <laughs> Okay, now, if you're headed off to Lowe's for something, I have another tip for you. Uh, 
I found this site where you can save a lot of money. Uh, there are a whole bunch of stores, in fact, over 4,000 in the United States uh, that would love to give you some, some of your money back when you shop with them if you shop online. And it's easier than you think. It's free to join. Uh, personally, I buy my stuff at Lowe's online, pay for it online, and then I just pick it up in store. And you can do that with a lot of things. I do the same thing with dog food. And uh, be, because these stores want you to shop online, they're making it a lot easier. You know, not only in-store pickup, but, but free shipping over a certain amount. So um, click on that button below. And then next time you need something from Lowe's, for, I mean, even if, especially if it's something like a lawnmower or a weed eater or a big purchase, you can save a lot of money. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful with how to get rid of mushrooms in your lawn. And I hope you don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> but um, either way, your choice, your lawn, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.